there is a butterfly effect to all of this. Carlos Sainz just put out his statement as well in the aftermath. He said, following today's news, Scuderia, Ferrari, and myself will part ways at the end of 2024. You don't say. He didn't say that. I said that. We still have a long season ahead of us. And like always, I will give my absolute best for the team and for the Tifosi all around the world. News about my future will be announced in due course. Where do you think we see Carlos Sainz in the future? Well, I think he'll be keen to keep his options open to start with um, because, you know, the landscape has dramatically changed with Lewis leaving Mercedes. There is a space up Mercedes. I mean, only three years ago, every driver on the grid wanted to race for Mercedes because they knew it was the fastest car. Um, probably not the case anymore, you know, uh, well, it's definitely not the fastest car, but probably not the case anymore that it has the same uh, value that it once did, a, a Mercedes contract. But it's still got to be an option uh, for Carlos. And Carlos, you know, would probably the be... Direct the swap by it could be an option. Swap. Yeah, I mean, it would be kind of through necessity a bit. I don't think, you know, either side is essentially what they wanted going into this year. Carlos wanted to sign a new contract with Ferrari. He said mm -hmm. that very clearly at the end of last year. And it going back to that Ferrari uh, uh, media gathering again, uh, just ahead of Christmas, um, Fred was still talking about a, a Carlos contract then as well as, you know, as a possibility, not a done deal. You know, he made that very clear, obviously, but um, but certainly something which they were considering and something they wanted to get sorted as early as possible if they were going to go with Carlos. Obviously, things changed. Um, so Carlos now, um, yeah, he, he'll look at his options. Mercedes is one. I, I don't think it's the most natural fit. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure it will go ahead. Um, another one potentially is Red Bull. Of course, Checo Perez contract ends at the end of 2024 and um you know carlos has history at red bull not all of it brilliant you know he left the sure. red bull uh driver young driver system under a bit of a cloud never got his chance to actually race for red bull yeah. um so i think it would have to have a few change of hearts and you know a few kind of people just going along with it because because it makes sense but then there's another one which we've been hearing about for months now you know really kind of almost over a year and that's the possibility of carlos being a contender to go to audi mm -hmm. um now i know what some people are thinking audi aren't on the grid yet well that's true but they are taking out in the process of taking over the sauber f1 team and mm -hmm. so by 2026 that magical year of new regulations audi will be on the grid with their own engines looking to fight for championships and uh carlos would be a pretty good target for them because they're going to struggle to get any of the really top, top drivers. One, because it sounds like most of them are going to have a contract. You know, we know sure. Max has a contract. We know Lando has a contract now. We know Charles has a contract. We know Lewis has a contract. So there's that, which Audi are going to have to contend with. Um, but also because, you know, it is going to be a building period and it's going to be a building phase. They're not going to be competitive straight away if we base it on what most new teams have to go through coming into the sport. So, um, so that is a logical step. And the other connection there is that uh, Andrea Seidel, who was the mm -hmm. team boss at McLaren when Carlos Sainz was there, is the CEO of uh, the Audi F1 team and therefore can, you know, pull some strings if uh, if he thinks Carlos is the right man for the job. So I would say that's the most natural fit, but I would I'd be surprised if, you know, he just jumped straight into it. I would have thought Carlos and his team would want to assess all options and then, you know, make a, a, a more kind of collected decision um, and not leave it too late, of course, because you don't want to be left out in the cold. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.